Welcome back to Vintage Story and my single player world. I'm playing the 1.17 Pre-1 release, which is a bug fest. And it's meant to be because one of the reasons they release things like this is so that people like me will play them. And because we all play in a different way, we trigger crashes that other people wouldn't. I know of two crashes. One was when I wanted to generate new land to find some of the things you can only find in new land, such as cracked stone blocks and the new cacti and the new red grass. So I'm not going to try and trigger any new land. But the other thing I have found is that one of my teleporters triggers a crash. And it's really weird because I use teleporters a lot. Uh, the reason I use them is that I'm playing single player. Sorry, this is work in progress construction here. So this golden quartz mine is the one that's causing me a problem. Now, I've not tried these other two, so I'm leaving those for the time being because this one, I've tried it twice and each time I get a game crash. I don't know why that should be. I've been moving my teleporters from that room because I'm building a large gear. One of the things that will trigger game crashes is when you play normally and you do the sorts of things that you normally do, um, but then suddenly kaput game crashes. I'm sorry, I was, I was you know, flicking my fingers there. <laughs> sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through uh, a normal sort of run I'm going to do the things that I want to do and need to do. I'm going to continue building this large wheel and we will see if anything else triggers a game crash. There's a couple of issues at the moment. We know that nothing you can get into your chests, but the mechanism for opening them is not there. And that applies to these, everything that you store things in. And we have a floating spa a wrench I would call it a spanner, but a wrench is just as good. And it's wonderfully floating. We like that a lot. So let's carry on with our normal tasks. Uh, I found a very good cave and I found six bismuth, which is fantastic. So let's get our hammer going. And then I particularly want to cast this bismuth. Oh, my goodness, look at that. That's given me a lot. Great, and I've got some silver. Um, I love black bronze, as some of you know. So I do tend to use a lot of black bronze. And I was slightly running out of silver. So we've now got silver, and I'm just wondering whether to make some silver here uh, that would go into maybe a bar. We'll think about that. Look at my shovel and my hoe, just casually, casually leaning against the side there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, let's just pop some of this in here and get it going. Right. Let's get that underway. Okay. A hundred units of bismuth. Uh, is that pourable? It is. But it didn't look it, did it? Oh my goodness. Wow, uh, quickly. Let's put our torches on. Well, I think what I'm gonna do next. It's daylight. I have been just processing some of my metals and apart from the crucible, not showing sort of glowing hot when the uh, bismuth was ready, everything is okay. So we have a beautiful, beautiful bismuth bar. 
Now, I need fat. I have resin, but I don't have fat. So I want to go and kill some animals that I have been sort of storing for a long time. I, they were at my first base and I captured them, but they were in a very inconvenient place. And that place has not become much better. Now going through these teleporters seems to work okay. So let's go through here. Right. Somebody commented that this all looks a lot sharper than it used to. And I have to say, I agree with you. I think the whole game looks a lot sharper. Good, I've got flax growing over here. <gasps> it's a fish! It's a fish! Oh my word! I don't believe it! Look at that! Is it going to run away from me? No, come back, I want to see you. Oh my word! Can I get a picture of this fish? Honestly, the things you spend your time doing when you're doing these updates. Um, oh, come back. I nearly had you then. Come back, come the other way. Come on. Get, nice. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yay. My first fish. Do I have more? Don't be greedy, let's put F4 on. Right, then I can see what I'm doing. Do I have any more fish? And this fish has spawned in the most unexpected place. I mean, this is just a small pond next to my first base. I'm thrilled. And this is some of the first generated land. This land was generated in 1.15, I think. So we are certainly um, way outside anything. And that is the only place I have seen a fish spawn so far. Right, well, I've finished all the slaughter. Um, this is not looking too good. Um, this is raw red meat. It should be turning into... Oh no, 64 litres of rot. Yeah, that's going to turn into something else. Uh, I am trying to find some barrels in which to salt all the meat that I've got. We'll have to go and have a look for that. Ah, excellent. Right, let's just move that off my bar. I decided to process some more meteoric iron, which is still hot. Wow. I didn't get many of those back. Let's put our iron over on the pile over here. This is too cold to work. Right, let's warm it up. I put my coal back. I've got too many things that I'm doing at once. We're doing well on meteoric iron, if nothing else. Oops. Right, let's just warm this one up a bit and then we can carry on with it wow look at the waggling now that wasn't waggling when i went through the teleporter but when i came back it's waggling it's almost as if it picks up the grass look isn't it yeah you guys are definitely not looking too special All right let me go and sort out some of this. I've got barrels downstairs. I'll come back to you when I've got this processing. Right, I'm ready to make this second wooden gear, which you make like that, and then you've got to have, I think it's six planks in each. Six. 
One, two, three. There we go. We have our second large gear. Now I'm going to need some angled gears with bits. So one of the things I do do is to mark the center often of the roof when I'm building cellars and I'm so glad I do. It really has helped. Right, let's take that out. We'll deal with all that later. Now, we've got this large wooden gear here. Right. It's going to say I'm in the way, isn't it? Right, that should come on there. And that the connecting ah oh, right okay we need a block under there it's fine we can do this and I think I've got this laid out just about correctly yes we can get that on there. Wow. Now, what should be happening is that I'm collecting the power from two windmills at the edges of the large gear upstairs. That is transferring into torque, which is coming down here. And then what is coming out here should be the power of two windmills. Let's just... take that out. That looks wonderful. Listen to the difference. Immediately. Where, where we want to be with this. Oh my word. Better. Much, much better. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. We need a break on here. But we'll we'll deal with that shortly. Let me just clear up everything I've done to get to this stage. Good. Well, that looks better. I'm not sure I even need two more windmills up there, but look at that. Wow. Doing a good job there. Just shows, doesn't it, how you can lever up the gauge. And this is a very long run, guys, of axles. It means it's lost a lot of power. Just think how fast I could get this if I put another windmill on. Ooh, temptation, temptation. Wow, I might get all my iron processed at this level. Wow. Excellent. Well, I think while the wind is blowing, let's have another go at this. It's a beautiful day. I had to move my uh, containers, my planters, that have got my mushroom collection in. So, I'm going to go and collect some more mushrooms. Our piles of goodies are just generally building up nicely and I can't tell you how much I enjoy having a hell of hammer that works this fast. I might find some mushrooms, yay! Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Right, let's wend on our way. We've got a forest floor here with no forest. So let's carry on and see what we can find. Is that a large cave? It is. Have we been down here? 
We have not. And this is a dangerous cave. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, let's get some torches in case there's anything. We've got peridotite. Oh. Oh, this is just a walkthrough. Okay, but there is, if we wanted it, very easily accessible quartz. Okay. Should we try and see if we can harvest anything? Oh, wow! That was worth doing. You get so used to the fact that there might be nothing there. Yeah, this is a... Wow, that looks deep. I tell you what, let's carry on. Uh, we are going in roughly the right direction. And we've got to remind ourselves we're looking for mushrooms. <laughs> looking for shrooms. Oh, this is Savannah. Oh, yes, look. We've got gazelles over there. Oh, wonderful. Maybe it just took time, a couple of days for them all to, um, you know, spawn in. Right, we are going to go, I think, in... Ooh! Round the edge of here. Gosh, that's huge. Okay, let's wander round... The shoreline, there's quartz down here. Lots of quartz. Do I see fish? Oh, the gazelle has run away from me into the pond. We've got copper. And is this a ruin? I know. I don't think it is. I thought that might be something a bit more. No, this is a ruin that I haven't explored. All right, what have we got? A tool. That looks like a shovel. <laughs> Ooh. And it looks like we're going to find bony soil, but also copper under here. That could be quite you. There we go. That wasn't a bad find, was it? Let's just have a quick look. Any I need more bismuth. Not the easiest of things to find. Okay. Why am I not picking that up? Right. More over here. Oh! Let's eat the... No, that's not what I want. I think this is... Uh, you know what? We can actually get that into there. Never thought of taking a hammer with me before. Right. Okay. Um, there's another one there. Nice. Well, that's shored everything up. Right. You are a commodities trader. Do you sell alum? Saltpeter, alum. Right. One. That's seven gears. I've got 26. Two. Buy. Yeah, I've got 16 alum. When that's crushed, that will be a, a lot more. And he's got another one. Don't do it. Good, let's go and put our mushroom. I've got one of the ones I was missing. And then I think tomorrow I'm going to go mushroom hunting again.
Yeah. Oh, I've missed, I'm so used to having the mushroom pots in a certain place. I have misplaced where they are. Let's pop them down here. Nice. So we've got two of them back. We've got the puff ball and the red wine cap. I will see you tomorrow. I'm running a bit short of gears, so I'm going to go over to this luxury trader who's out here in the middle of nowhere. And let's pop in here. I think he might buy some gems from me. Hello, Marco. You will buy one rough emerald, but you'll give me 14 gears. Oh, is that low? Check it's low. It's low, yeah. Wow, 14 gears. Thank you. I'm happy with that. I wish I could buy this from you. Um, and that is high. That is high. Yeah, and the rest of this, this is all stuff you have to find. He's a treasure hunter, so he wants what I would call treasure. Um, and there's nothing I want to buy. See, I bought another carpet from him. Ornate silver arrow. No, there's nothing else I want. Okay, thank you. Good to do business with you. Right, let's go away from here. Oh. It's a couple of stars. I thought it was a pair of eyes looking at me. <gasps> Don't get fanciful, just go home. Good, I feel a lot better now. I've got a few more gears, 14 extra gears. That was really good. Who else might buy gems? Our artisan trader might. Let's go and see whether he or she will have to go through here to get to the artisan trader. I must say, everything looks exceptionally sharp at the moment. I, th I think the new update has helped a lot. Wow, it's rough up here. Hello, I'm coming in here to shelter. Oh, I know, I know. So you've got ambush. That is the right third, I've got that. I've got these two. And morning, that is the centre third I need night for. You don't have anything I want, but will, that's high potential, medium potential, low. Oh, how much are you giving? 10 gears, I'll still take it actually. Excellent, is that low? That's high. But you will buy beeswax, one gear for six beeswax. It's not hard to make. And eight fat, gosh. Right, I've got a lot of this. Okay. Don't do it. You've got 36 gears, that would take four. Yeah, I know it's nice, but not today. Okay. Right, that's done a bit more trading. And one of the problems I have is that I do like to do a lot of panning and I get a lot of my um, uh, things to trade from panning. Yes, I'm wearing a different costume. <laughs> I've played on a bit since I stopped the last section of recording, but I want to keep these videos down to a, a reasonable amount to watch. So in that video, we found our first fish. We found out that the waggling effect can be caused by going through a teleporter. And also I found out that the wooden mechanisms like building a large gear and most of the uh, smelting and forging mechanisms seem to be perfectly okay. So gradually, gradually we are getting to grips with this update. Please keep watching. I'll carry on in the next video showing you more things. Bye bye.